Hello, children of God. My name is Yemi. I trust you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Thank you for always coming back to this channel. Thank you for your prayers, your support, and your love. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. And if this is your first time here, you're welcome. Welcome to the family of God. Welcome to this beautiful community. May the Lord bless you mightily in Jesus' name. The Lord has a word for someone today. It is an exciting word, as you may have already seen from the title of this video. And I know it's going to be a blessing. I know it's an answer to someone's prayer. Before we go into the word, let us pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much for today. Thank you for another opportunity in your presence, Lord. Thank you for another beautiful word from you. Word of life, word of confirmation, word of encouragement. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for what you are doing in our midst. You are walking behind the scene, walking tirelessly. Lord, we say thank you. Thank you for walking on our behalf. Thank you for everything you've done in the past. Thank you for what you are doing right now, for the miracles you are releasing in our midst, for the breakthroughs that you are giving to your children, for the doors that you are opening, oh God, for provisions, for supplies that you are sending to your children, for your favor upon our lives, for guiding us, for directing our paths, for leading us and ordering our steps, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you for everything. I thank you for everyone who is watching this video right now. I thank you for everything that concerns them, everything that is connected to their life. I thank you for what you are doing right now in our midst, oh God. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, have mercy on us. For we are wretched sinners. Our righteousness is like a filthy rag. Lord, have mercy. Forgive us. You said in your word that if we confess our sins, faithful and just are you to forgive us all our unrighteousness. We've come today confessing our sins before you. According to your word, Lord, forgive us. Have mercy on us. Cleanse us with the, with the precious blood of your son, Jesus Christ. Wash us clean and set us apart for your use in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father, that you prepare our hearts to receive this word to receive this word. I pray that you will speak directly to your children. I pray that you will speak to their needs. You will speak to their situations. They will hear from you. They will not hear from man in the mighty name of Jesus. As I release myself to you today, I pray that you will use me to deliver your words accurately, to speak to your children in the name of Jesus. I pray that you give me the right words, the right phrases. I will not speak of my own. I will not call attention to myself, oh God, but I will speak of you for you are the giver of this word and you are the center of this word and all the glory will be yours alone. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The Lord has been speaking to me a lot in the last few days and also showing me a lot of things. And one of the themes I have received a lot of messages about in the last four days or so is the theme of home, a dwelling place. I've been sitting on some of the words and some of the messages that God has given me about this topic and not wanting to share them because I felt like I've already shared some words about the topic. But this morning, as I saw the Lord, he gave me another word which still falls under the same topic. And the Lord said to me, you've been praying about this for them and I am working and answering. Share my words. So I'm going to be obedient and share everything God has been revealing to me about this topic, all the words and messages he's been giving me about this topic. This is the word of the Lord for someone today. The Lord says, I see how you care for that home 
even though it doesn't belong to you. And even though it looks old and worn, I will bring you to the point of owning your own home. The Lord says, you are not the only one praying for a home of your own. But someone in your neighborhood sees how you care for the home you currently live in. And they are talking to me about you. They are interceding for you for a home of your own. Wow. That's what really hit me this morning. And it made me teary as I heard and wrote it down. It makes me feel more conscious of my actions and environment. I've always been very conscious. But this is like an eye-opener that has made me even more aware of how I conduct myself and take care of what God has entrusted to me. Praise God. People are watching you. They are observing you. Especially if you call yourself a believer and follower of Jesus. What you do may determine if unbelievers around you will seek Jesus or not. And you are not only being watched here on earth. Heaven is watching you. Heaven is watching you. As the angel said to Cornelius in Acts chapter 10 verse 4, your prayers and neighborly acts have brought you to God's attention. So God is saying to you today that your acts and faithful stewardship have brought you to my attention and the attention of those around you to the extent that they are lifting you up in prayers. I have received your effort as an act of service, says the Lord. In the book of Matthew chapter 25 verse 23, Jesus tells a story of a faithful steward who managed well what was given to him. The scriptures reads, his master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. I hear the Lord saying to you, to the person this word is for, well done. Well done for being a faithful steward of what I have provided for you. Well done for maintaining and nurturing the home that is not even yours. Well done. The Lord is saying well done to you. And the Lord is saying to you because you have been faithful with someone else's property. I am blessing you with your own place. With a home of your own. Your diligence and care have not gone unnoticed, says the Lord. You know, sometimes God tests us to know if we will be faithful with what he gives us. So he starts with little things. He makes a way for us to have someone else's property in the form of rent. He gives us the opportunity to prove our faithfulness and stewardship. Praise God. And if you pass the test, he promotes you. If you pass the test, God will promote you. Some of us want a promotion without passing the test. Some of us treat other people's home carelessly and say, after all, it's not my own. Some of us handle our jobs with levity, yet we are trusting God to give us our own businesses. It may not happen unless we prove ourselves faithful in the small things. Yes, I know that taking care of what we have can be very strenuous sometimes, but if we look at everything we have, regardless of the size or how it came about as God's provision for us, and if we understand that God gives us things to take care of them, we would be happy to do them. Praise God. Remember, everything we have is a gift from God and a test of our stewardship. And when we are faithful with the little, God will entrust us with much. So continue to take care of that home. Today, I want to encourage you to continue to be diligent in your work and trust that God sees your faithfulness and is preparing you for something greater. Is preparing you for a greater blessing. Praise God. Father, thank you for your word. 
Thank you for answering our prayers and for working on our behalf. Thank you for the blessings of new homes for your children, Father. Father, we ask for your continued guidance and wisdom as we strive to be faithful stewards of all you have given to us. Help us to care for what you have given to us. Help us to be diligent and look after everything you have given to us. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray for those who are currently seeking promotion, seeking to move ahead. I pray that you will open doors of opportunity. I pray that you will give us the grace to be diligent in the name of Jesus. I pray that your hand will rest upon us. I pray that your favor will rest upon us. Lord, give us the grace to be faithful stewards of what you've provided for us in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you will help us, O oh God, to let our actions, our attitude, Oh God, be a witness to the people around us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you for this beautiful provision of home that is coming to this, your child, to your children in the name of Jesus. We receive it with gratitude. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.